Nigerian Senate passes bill to make Abuja landlords collect rent monthly for third reading. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Well, I am actually surprised that this particular bill is only for residents or people, citizens who are in Abuja. I feel it's something that is supposed to be nationwide. Yes, yeah, that's what I feel. You know, accommodation is one of the things that you're, I don't want to know how strong you are. But if you're someone who don't have accommodation, no matter how unbothered you are, no matter how you, you, you think, comfortable you think you are, once anything happens to accommodation, ha, homo, you're not going to get yourself. Let's say, for instance, your rent is almost due and your landlord is not the understanding type of a person, I mean, you will not go get yourself. You will not, you will be like, ah. Sincerely, you don't go get yourself. So I think it is not something that is supposed to be restricted only for only to Abuja residents. They should actually make it a national thing. Yes. So that people who like before now, people have this notion, they have this saying, ah, na landlord now we they work for. Na landlord now they work for, you know. as in year in, year out, they give to pay huge sums of money. Money that they would have used, you know, to do something else. But it comes to this, some people, some people who are actually, who it benefits more, it benefits some, some, um, most times it benefits the landlord and most times it benefits the tenant. Some people will still tell you that no, that they prefer to pay it off once and they will get themselves rather than pay it up little by little. A bigger percentage will come and tell you they prefer paying it up little, that's that monthly. Okay, I'm collecting a salary of one naira. Let me know that it's, uh, 50 kobo. Is going for rent. Let me know. While some will still just a few, a few people, but all the same, or nevertheless, it is better. Um, it is made generally than just for Abuja residents. Ah, who be only Abuja needs this thing now. The other human human beings do other places. So let them do the right thing. Okay, let's listen to the news and details. Please stay with us. He said many properties in Abuja were empty because of outrageous rents placed on them. A bill seeking to regulate the payment of rent at the Federal Capital Territory has passed the second reading in the Senate. The proposed legislation sponsored by Senator Smart Adeyemi or Progressive Congress Kogi State seeks to stop the yearly advance payment of rent and compel house owners to collect rent monthly in arrears. In this debate, Adeyemi said the bill was to cushion the effect of outrageous the effect of outrageous on tenants in the nation's capital. He said many properties in Abuja were empty because of the outrageous rent placed on them. Many residents of FCT are finding it very difficult to cope with huge rent payment. The reason many of the houses built for such purposes are empty. He says some landlords always insist that tenants pay one year or two years rent. That is wrong. There are many tenants whose salaries are competing with their rents because they live in cities like Abuja, he said. On his part, Senator Ali Asabi Abdullahi, APC in Niger State, described the proposed law as people-centered and urged his colleagues to support its passage. There is no gain saying that many residents in FCT are groaning under this difficult situation where tenants are asked to pay house rent yearly in advance, Abdullahi said. Senators Ibrahim Gobri Sokoto and Bala Naala APC KB also supported the bill. For Naala, the system where tenants, many of whom receive meager salaries, are forced to pay rent annually in advance encourages corruption. Where we operate a system that makes it difficult for people to survive, then we may not be able to fight corruption notwithstanding the resources deployed for the purpose, he said. However, Senator Chimaruki Namani, PDP, Enugu opposed the bill saying rents are determined by market forces like cost of acquiring land and building materials. His position did not stop the passage of the bill for as it scaled through the second reading. Hmm. So only one person actually said no, and the person is Senator so I said, Chimaruki Namani. Well, 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 I feel like building materials. Come on now. Rent, I mean, rent is like, 
how am I going to, a building is a capital, as in a capital asset. It's something that you do once in a while. As in, if you have the money now, for someone who have the money, they might just say, you know what, I don't want to go to the stress of building. I'd rather, you know, buy houses from all this real estate and, you know, lease them out. You're not going to get your money. What, why would you be saying, uh, why would you come in to say, uh, uh, how did you even say it again? Or in the cost of, are you serious right now? Ha. Like I said, this yearly payment, it favors more, more of the, the owners of the houses. You know, you, you charge somebody, let's say, for instance, you charge somebody um, 10,000 naira or 20,000 naira or 30,000 naira per month or 5,000, depending on the building. You charge 10, you charge 15, you know, uh, some people, you don't know if uh, at the end of the day, their salary is 50,000. And on top of that, there are people who... Maybe they have school fee to pay for people who are training themselves in school. You know, they have um, uh, they have family to attend to for people who are family people. All those things. So, like I said, my only issue here is they should make it general, not just the nation's capital. Have you been to Patakot? Have you been to Lagos State? Oh, no. Oh, no. Lagos State is another place where these people, some are even asked to pay how many years? Two years plus. But the outrageous... You know, fees attached to it. You you pay, you pay, what does it call it? Agreement fees and whatever. Is it caution fees or whatever? I don't even know. I don't even know what, what they pay, but man, no. Those people also, they deserve to. So they deserve to. This is what I'm talking about. Too. They should not come and be saying, eh, it's only a bujao. They don't start to. They don't want stats as in it's good, but at the end of the day, it is supposed to be for all the states. This is what this is where people so, so people start shouting equity, I mean, um, injustice and unfairness. Now, you should make this thing a general something so that everybody will benefit from it. You understand, every um, citizen of Nigeria who is not um, by chance a landlord is going to be able to benefit from it. Instead of reducing house rent, it is monthly payment builder sponsor. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. They cannot work on price of cement. Do landlord borrow money from you people to build? Landlord should issue quiet notice to those who can't meet their demands. Are you serious? Hmm. I am sponsoring a bill that the salaries of National Assembly be reduced to 500000 per month. The bill will be presented on the floor of the National Assembly soon. Somebody asks, say 500,000 a reduction. <laughs> Minimum wage, or <laughs> On this note, of course, the end of the news, we say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.